In today's video, we find out what happens when Boss Foundation goes over to the Daily Bugle and joins in with the battle between Io and the Seven, which has just started to happen this update, which went live today. If you guys are new around here, roughly 98% of you guys watching aren't subscribed, so tap that subscribe button. And don't forget, guys, to pop in code POST your item shop. That's POST if you get a free moment. Anyway, let's jump into this and find out what's going to happen. So first off, we jump in with our brand new Easter skin, which I was gifted today for a new style because I already own the bunny skin, which looks pretty cool. And I had to set a plan for this. So for those that don't know where the Daily Bugle is and you don't know where the Sanctuary is, what's going on? Well, the Foundation boss is going to be over here and we're going to have to take him over this side, over these rivers, across the bridges, into the Daily Bugle, where the war is currently taking place and the battle where Io are under siege from the Seven Centuries. So it's going to be really exciting. So I landed in, searched for Foundation. I found him in his den over here. And obviously, we just need to get him out and get him on a car. So I did a little emote with him, said hello to him and uh, have something to report. Oh, yes, I do. We're going to take you over to the Daily Bugle. So I grabbed this truck and in this truck, here you can see I had a decent amount of fuel it was basically set to go fully green nice lovely cam on it so i drove this over to the location of foundation and i did this on my own so it was quite difficult to do but missed the turn for the bridge but that's okay let's take this truck across this bridge and get over to foundation as quick as we can so he's just around this corner over here i'm going to clear a few of the obstacles on the way just like this so we can easily get him out and we've arrived at our destination so i pulled in nicely and i was ready to get foundation on top of this truck so i built a little structure got him around made sure he was safe to go and started fishing rod him in onto the truck i guess and we get him on nicely so foundation gets on we edit that and now we're set to start driving this truck so the truck eventually starts to get out of here it goes very slowly we don't want foundation to fall off and we've got him in a lovely position so we're going to be driving foundation over towards the daily bugle to see how he's going to act over there so he's going pretty fast foundation is he's doing all right he's kind of chilling on the bus <laughs> chilling on the i guess truck but it's basically his bus transport right now and we get over here and unfortunately he does fall off over here so i decided to myself oh no let's quit let's get out of here and build a little wall so we can't get any further so i held him there for a bit and then decided to fishing rod him the rest of the way quite difficult to do because for some reason he decided to start shooting as i was fishing rod him it's like a new thing they put in for the npcs they've made it so npcs now shoot when you fishing rod them i'm not too sure why they did that but just everything just gets harder and harder in these videos but foundation then started doing this strange little walk i don't know if this is some sort of up and coming transversal remote or not but this was pretty cool look at this look at this walk he's doing it's like a little jiggle dance and that was really nice but after a little bit of time i eventually got foundation closer to the daily bugle and you can see i managed to place some walls and just kind of enclose him he did keep going back but he did target on them so once i got him here like this now we were basically set to move him into the daily bugle and see how he's going to act when he meets this huge war that's taking place will he talk to the sentries will he engage in combat this is what we're about to find out let's switch over to the replay but he's super super close to the daily bugle right now so jump into the replay you can see the io guards are already engaging in the combat between the seven centuries the seven centuries are holding their ground and so are the io guards consistently battling each other as they come down the teleporters and sending in reinforcements but bringing foundation into the fight i thought this would be quite interesting because the mechanics for this work a little bit different when you engage in the fight they no longer start respawning so i thought what would happen if foundation engages in this combat so foundation jumps in he fires in a big meatball hits a few of the io guards gets a decent amount of damage and we've got more seven centuries backing up around the side over here foundation absolutely tearing these down as best as he can he's doing a really good good job at it but he's taking quite a lot of damage he fires in another huge rock the meatball goes in and it does hit a few of them the io guards do take a little bit of damage there but not enough another io guard goes down there but then another one respawns in straight away you can see foundation still engaging in the combat he's MK is absolutely wrecking. Check that out. Another meatball goes in. Lovely elimination on three IO guards. And then they all just respawn straight off the bat by the teleporter. Another seven century goes down there from the IO guards. You can see the IO guards haven't got the best aim. These have definitely got weak aim. The MK is absolutely wrecking them. In goes another rock. Let's see what's going to happen with this one. Ooh, lovely hit there. Another elimination there from the foundation. Another shot in the air with the MK. MK is really improving here. Look at the size of foundation compared to the seven centuries. That is absolutely incredible. Foundation again holding his ground at this situation. But it looks like what is happening in this experiment so far is it's not actually registering the kind of attack on these this army should i say because what's happening his foundation is engaging but for some reason now he's stood still just he's a bit confused now he's he wants to target them but he's still stood still so i think i'm gonna have to fish him rather than but in this situation he's like wants to push but he doesn't and it's not triggering the mechanic that obviously advances the waves which i'll show you guys in a second so i'm gonna fish in rod foundation here i'm just building some reinforcement walls so he doesn't escape so let's get a lovely fishing rod on him and see what happens when he engages again and gets a little bit closer to them will he actually join the combat and actually advance it a little bit closer so he's a little bit closer now foundation 
position. He starts his engagement with his MK. Gets a lovely shot off there, but actually doesn't hit them. Oh, nice little 18 is coming in there. Cracks the shield of the IO guard in the distance. You can see the IO guards over here are doing a good job at holding their ground. We do have one of the IO patrols in here as well. He's a pretty overpowered one compared to the others. He has better accuracy. You see he definitely has more chance of hitting the shots. He hit a little one there nicely. The foundation does rip though with that MK. I'm trying to keep him in as much as possible here in the distance. Building walls behind foundation, making sure he's not escaping. You see foundation there over on the right. Absolutely tearing these apart. But he is trying to run away. And it looks like it's not advancing the wave from what we can conclude from this situation here. So currently what we have here is foundation in a stalemate with these IO guards. The IO guards just keep respawning and so do the seven sentries. And for me to keep holding the foundation here on my own, it's almost impossible. I've run out of materials. I'm really, really not doing very well at holding because it's hard to do on your own. And unfortunately, it looks like the foundation is going to back off a little bit here. Is he going to go back into the fight or where's he going to go next? That's the question. For some reason he decided to pick up this wall and after a little bit of time, foundation did eventually start walking backwards. Still facing towards the IO guards until he got to this downward slope. He was actually ready to engage, but he just wants to go back to his POI, realizing that he can't do anything, unfortunately, until a player actually interacts with what's going on in that area. Now, so let me show you guys how that works as we jump into that. But congratulations, Foundation. At least he got engaged in the fight and took out a lot of the IO, but not enough. So I decided I'll jump into the fight. I've jumped back into the gameplay and I've jumped straight in. So this is what happens. It signals this help the seven reclaim. Obviously, the Foundation didn't help the seven to his standard, but I can do this pretty well using my tips on the boss meets for those that have watched a bunch of the past boss meets and also how to meet and find NPCs and how to battle them. This is the biggest tip I can give you. Always stand still when you're fighting NPCs if there are no players around. If you have the opportunity to stand still, you will take an advantage. So it looks like when I engage in the combat, it looks like the seven sentries definitely do do damage and do support you, but they are technically invincible because they just keep respawning. The IO guards are also technically invincible unless you engage with the combat. Once you engage with the combat, you then push it through three stages. I thought Foundation might have been registered as that engagement which is what i was hoping for so i could push him through but it looks like with the mechanics of the game he does not register as the engaging player which means the io guards just consistently respawn until an engaging player actual human player engages with the ai and you see that's what i've done here i've pushed in nicely engaging with these dead easy to take out and i think they want you to eliminate them there's a reason why their accuracy is so low if you do jump they are going to hit you for some reason the more you move the more likely they are to hit you but standing stationary gives you kind of like a opportunity for the them not to hit you so yeah you can see that work nicely there we've pushed against that stage there and we're moving on to stage three now into our final section pushing into it the third stage is just around the corner we'll use that shield there i'm going to go straight round see if we can engage in these we're going to pop around the corner you can see we've got the io patrol now and even the io hunter who's a brand new boss that's been added in the io hunter is basically a weaker version of the hunt master so he's pretty cool and you can see him over there he has an over shield compared to the io guards and his accuracy is a little bit better but my gravity is going to send me flying here as a really cool little move that's going to give us a little bit of an opportunity here because it looks like we've got ourselves a little chest over here so let's open this chest and see what we get inside of here i'm hoping for a rocket launcher or something that's going to come in super handy if we do get that so you can fire it straight onto the eye oh there we are okay nice okay let's target this onto them locking on there we are fire it in and boom here it goes goes up you can see it going up and it, then it decides to come back down there it is and it's going to crash down oh nice takes out all the io guards other than the io there's one io guard still remaining down there and they are respawning we've obviously got the io hunter the seven centuries are engaging on the hunter i'm going to pop down and take down the hunter nicely like this get the io hunter easy take down like that nice little headshot there take him out Ooh, almost almost okay io hunter goes down we've got io guard over here let's take him down and there we have it the seven win so I've just created a brand new creative map called Tilted Parkour Tag, and inside of here it's OG Tilted with the floor is lava. However, it's not just basic floor is lava. The whole of the floor has been ripped up by the lava, and there is lots of unique routes you can take, obviously with the tag. The idea of this game mode is to simply tag as many players as you can. You can use the code on screen to get into the actual map itself, and once you tag a player, they'll join you as the hunter, and you have to hunt down all the taggable players until you've eliminated them all. You have 15 minutes in total to take them all down, and if you collect coins, you earn XP and also gain some health back as well to help you survive longer against the hunters when you are a runner. Good luck in Tilted Parkour Tag. I look forward to seeing you guys in the lobby. I'll be playing this for the next few hours today and tomorrow, getting some testing in. And let me know if you find any bugs in the map in the comment section down below.